a funny question. No, I'm curious. You've never asked me that before. I've always wanted to know. Well, of course it occurs to me. Oh, it does. Hmm. What's your attitude to that, then? Makes it all the more piquant. Does it really? Of course. You mean while you're with him, you actually have a picture of me sitting at my desk <laughs> going through balance sheets? Only at certain times. <laughs> Not all the time. Well, naturally. At particular moments. Mm. But in fact, I'm not completely forgotten. Oh, not by any mm. means. That's rather touching, I must admit. How could I forget you? Quite easily, I should think. But I'm in your house. With another. But it's you I love. I beg your pardon? But it's you I love. <clears throat> Let's have another drink. What shoes are they? Hmm? Those shoes, they're unfamiliar. Oh. Very high heeled, aren't they? Sorry. Sorry, I beg your pardon? I'll take them off. Not quite the most comfortable shoes for an evening at home, I would have thought. Thank you. 
merely asking if you can give me a light. Excuse me. I don't like being followed. Just give me a light and I won't bother you. That's all I want. Please go away. I'm waiting for someone. Why are you so shy? Mm -hmm. Where's your lighter? Here? <gasps> Why are you 
suddenly talking about him? I mean, what is the point? It's not a subject you normally elaborate on. Why does he put up with it? Oh, shut up. I asked you a question. He doesn't mind. Doesn't he? Well, I'm beginning to mind. What did you say? I'm beginning to mind. It's got to stop. It can't go on. You're not serious. It can't go on. You're joking. No, I'm not. Why? Because of my husband? Not because of my husband. I hope that's going a little far. I no. Think. Nothing to do with your husband. It's, it's because of my wife. Your wife? I can't deceive her any longer. <laughs> I've been deceiving her for years. I, I can't go on with it. It's killing me. Darling, what? Don't touch me. What did you say? You heard. But she knows, doesn't she? You told her all about us. She's known the whole time. No, she doesn't know. She thinks I know a whore, that's all. Some spare time whore, that's all. That's what she thinks. Yes, but be serious, my darling. She doesn't mind, does she? She'd mind if she knew the truth, wouldn't she? What truth? What are you talking about? She'd mind if she knew that, in fact, I've got a full-time mistress two or three times a week. A woman of grace. Elegance, wit, imagination. Yes, yes, you have. In an affair that's been going on for years. She wouldn't mind. She doesn't mind. She's happy. She's happy. I wish you'd stop this rubbish anyway. You're doing your best to ruin the whole afternoon. Anyway, you always told me I was plump. 
You were plump once. You're not plump anymore. Look at me. You're not plump enough. You're nowhere near plump enough. You know what I like? I like enormous women, like like bullocks with others. <laughs> Vast, great other bullocks. You mean cows. I don't mean cows. I mean voluminous, great other feminine bullocks. <laughs> once, years ago, you vaguely resembled one. <laughs> but now, quite honestly,
jest, to feel the envy of others, their attempts to gain favor with you by fair means or foul, your austere grace confounding them, and to know you are my wife. It's the source of a profound satisfaction to me. What's for dinner? I haven't thought. No, oh, why not? <laughs> I find the thought of dinner fatiguing. I prefer not to think about it. That's rather unfortunate. I'm hungry. <laughs> you hardly expect me to embark on dinner after a day spent sifting matters of high finance in the city. <laughs> One could even suggest you were falling down on your wifely duties. Oh, oh dear. I must say, I rather suspected this would happen sooner or later. How's your whore? Splendid. Fatter or thinner? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Is she fatter or thinner? She gets thinner every day. Oh, that must displease you. Not at all. I'm fond of thin ladies. I thought the contrary. Really? Why would you have thought that? Of course, your failure to have dinner on the table is quite consistent with the life you've been leading for some time, isn't it? Is it? Entirely. Perhaps I'm being unkind. Am I being unkind? I don't know. Yes, I am. In the traffic jam on the bridge just now, you see, I came to a decision. Oh, what? That it has to stop. What? Your debauchery. Your life of depravity, your path of illegitimate lust. Really? Yes. I've come to an irrevocable decision on that point. Would you like some cold ham? Do you understand me? Not at all. I have something cold in the fridge. Too cold, I'm sure. <laughs> the fact is, this is my house. From today, I forbid you to see your lover on these premises. This applies to any time of the day. Is that understood? I made a salad for you. Are you drinking? Yes, I'll have one. What are you drinking? You know what I drink. We've been married ten years. So we have. It's strange, of course, that it's taken me so long to appreciate the humiliating ignominy of my position. I did take my lover ten years ago. Not quite. Not on a honeymoon. That's irrelevant. The fact is, I am a husband who has extended to his wife's lover open house on any afternoon of her desire. I've been too kind. Haven't I been too kind? But of course you're terribly kind. Perhaps you would give him my compliments, by letter, if you like, and ask him to cease his visits from the twelfth on. How can you talk <laughs> like this? Why today so suddenly? had a hard day at the office. All those overseas people, it's so tiring. But it's silly, it's so silly to talk like this. I'm here for you, and you've always appreciated how much these afternoons mean. You've always understood. Understanding is so rare, so dear. Do you think it's pleasant to know that your wife is unfaithful to you two or three times a week with great regularity? It's insupportable. It has become insupportable. I'm no longer disposed to put up with it. Sweet Richard, please. Please what? Can I tell you what I suggest you do? What? Take him out into the fields. Find a ditch or a slag heap. <laughs> Find a rubbish dump. Hmm? What about that? Buy a canoe and find a stagnant <laughs> pond. Anything, anywhere, but not my living room. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why not? I said it's not possible. But if you want your lover so much, surely that's the obvious thing to do, since his entry to this house is now barred. I'm trying to be helpful, darling, because of my love for you. You can see that. If I find him on these premises, I'll kick his teeth out. Yes. I'll kick his head in. What about your own damn whore? I've paid her off. Have you? Why? She was too bony. Oh, but you liked. <laughs> but you said you liked. Richard. But you love me. Of course. Yes. You love me. You don't mind him. You understand him, don't you? I mean, you know better than I do, darling. All's well. All's well. 
No, you can't. It's impossible. What do you think you're doing? What's this? I found it some time ago. What is it? Shouldn't what is it? Bad. But it's in my house. It belongs either to me or to you or to another. It's nothing. I bought it at a yard sale. It's nothing. What do you think it is? Give it. Put it back. Nothing? This? A drum in my cupboard? <laughs> it's nothing. Give it back. Put it back. It isn't by any chance anything to do with your illicit afternoons. Not Why it, should it? It is used. This is used, isn't it? I can guess. You guess nothing. Give it to me. How does he use it? How do you use it? Do you play it while I'm at the office? What function does this fulfill? Not just an ornament, I take it. What do you do with it? Oh, you have no right to ask these questions. No right at all. It was our arrangement. No questions of this kind. Please don't. It was our arrangement. I want to know. Don't. Do you both play it? Hmm? Do you both play it together? Oh, you're so stupid! <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's the only one who comes? Do you? Do you think he's the only one I entertain? Mm -hmm. Don't be silly. I have other visitors all the time. All the time. I receive all the time. Other afternoons, all the time. When neither of you know, neither of you, I give them strawberries in season with cream. Strangers, total strangers, but not to me, not while they're here. They come to see the hollyhocks, and then they stay for tea, always, always. Is that so? What are you doing? Is that what you do? What is that? What fun! Got a light? Got a light? Come on, don't be a spoiled sport. Your husband won't mind if you give me a light. You look a little pale. Why are you so pale, a lovely girl like you? Don't, don't say that. You're trapped. We're alone. I've locked up. You mustn't do this. You mustn't do it. You mustn't. He won't mind. No one else knows. No one else can hear us. No one knows we're here. Come on, give us a light. You can't get out, darling. What would my husband say? He expects me. He's waiting. I can't get out. I'm trapped. You have no right to treat a married woman like this. <laughs> have you? Think. Think. Think of what you're doing. change my clothes. I'll change for you, darling. 
shy? Would you like that? Yes. Change. Change. Change your clothes. You lovely whore.
time is it? Uh, what, honey? Sunday. I know it's Sunday. You never wind the clock. Yes. Articles all 
kinds of personal belongings. A broken glass. And furniture overturned. As if there'd been a free-for-all fight and the pad was raided. Violence must have broken out in the place. And the bathtub on ice. And I remember picking up the phone to ask what hotel it was. But I don't remember if they told me or not. Give me a drink of that water.
talk to me now? Yes. And talk to me like the rain. And let me listen. Talk to me like the rain and I will lie here and listen. It's been too long since we leveled with each other. Tell me things. What have you been thinking in the silence? Have I been passed around like a dirty postcard among people? Talk to me. Talk to me like the rain and I will lie here and listen.
rain. And I won't be so exhausted after my life in the city that I won't mind just listening to the rain. It's so quiet. The lines will disappear from my face. My eyes won't be inflamed at all anymore. I have no friends. I have no acquaintances even.
blows from the edge of the world. From even further than that. From the cool outer edges of space. From beyond whatever there is beyond the edges of space.
notebook. She didn't ask me out to her place. I took all she could offer was her desire. It might be nice to see her again. Give another bite. Maybe.
coffee, please. You know, it sounds so funny to me, a coffee. <laughs> Back home, we always said a cup of coffee or some coffee. Well, you know, here we always just said a coffee. <laughs> she thought you were ordering another one. Miss! Oh, it's, it's okay, I'll drink it. Okay. You don't want to go anywhere. I don't know, I just feel really good all of a sudden. It's great. I mean, I'm glad.
just took this apartment since, since that time we talked? Mm -hmm. You can have visitors at my hotel. That's great. I mean, to have a place of your own. Did you get tired of living with different people? Um, yeah. Wouldn't you like to live with me? I mean, I'd like you to. I wouldn't want to hang you up. And, I mean, you can stay here and work. See, I work all day, and, and I'd never be here at night. And, and you can have a place to, to put all your clothes and your souvenirs and, you know, whatever. Oh, I, I don't have very many clothes. It's mostly all writing stuff. Just 
one? No, 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 please, just take it because uh, it's not my brand.
sorry about my help. Uh, I'm just so afraid of anyone to see what I've written and told No, 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 please, please. I, I, I understand, really. It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's just that I was curious. And I, I see you here all the time writing. And uh, do you do you live somewhere around here? Really, I am. Um, anywhere.